Hi, Joe Bell here, G4PMY. We're just back into the uh, garages from a little jaunt out with the radio station and we thought we'd show you the hunting high volt 12 kilowatt three phase generator that we use with the Russian radio station. Now, the diesel generator is um, much more economic to run than the onboard petrol generator. Uh, the diesel runs at 1500 RPM and not 3000 and will run all day on agricultural diesel which is much uh, lower in cost to buy and that's quite legal running a generator on agricultural diesel so let's take a look inside the uh, prime mover for the uh, hunting high volt generator is the Perkins uh, P3 diesel engine there you see it in situ it's water cooled the uh, canopy over the uh, engine and generator housing is a soundproofing canopy and it draws air in at the rear through a filter and exhausts it through one side down here you can see the actual exhaust outlet which is on the side of the generator and there's a flexible extension pipe which you can plug into that to uh, put into the ground and partially bury in sand or loose soil and here you see the control panel for the generator left hand side we have volts output followed by amps output followed by a KVA meter followed by a Hertz meter and on the right here you see we have a fuel gauge and an hours meter and a number of fuses together with the control switch quite an unusual way of starting the generators which we'll show you in a moment on this side of the generator the top locker contains all the cables extensions that we need and underneath that is the cover housing the two gel batteries which are used for cranking the generator and on this side of the engine the yellow cap is the fuel filler cap and on the right is the hydraulic reservoir and hand pump the generator is equipped with a hydraulic starter for when the batteries are low but you do need to have some power in the batteries as the relays need to engage before you spin the hydraulic starter the hydraulic pump needs about 20 to 30 strokes of the lever to come up to a sufficient pressure to uh, to start the generator and we'll be showing you how to uh, start it on hydraulics uh, right now so to pump the hydraulic starter up is about 30 strokes on the handle So hydraulic starting, we turn on the battery master switch, put the engine run stop switch to run, we press the electronics reset button, we engage the delay timer, you'll hear the relay clunk, and then we pull the cord which releases the hydraulic starter. the generators from the cranking batteries is different you've got to turn on the battery master put the run switch to run you've got to press and hold the reset button whilst you're cranking and then while it is cranking you let go of the reset button
So let's take a look inside of the hunting high vault control panel. Here you see the back of the main control panel. There you can see the back of the uh, meters and uh, switches. The small unit in the middle left is the speed controller. The engine has a magnetic sensor which looks at the teeth on the flywheel. Each tooth that passes the sensor sends back a pulse and those pulses are counted in this box and divided uh, so that the uh, speed can be controlled to either 50 or 60 hertz. The larger box on the right hand side is the load sharing unit. These generators can be connected together to provide a greater load than any one generator can uh, provide. Uh, the box center frame there inside the control cabin is the synchronizing unit which synchronizes this generator to other generators that may be connected to it. And the small PCB at the top is the AVR, the automatic voltage regulator and synchronizing unit. The large green box says control and protection unit. Uh, basically it's full of TTL circuitry and it, it looks at the uh, voltage, under voltage and over voltage detection, undercurrent and overcurrent protection, excessive current in any one phase if it's running in three phase and it also has a, a timer in to, uh, to uh, cause it to ignore those sensor inputs while the engine is running up to speed. Also the speed is checked in this uh, module uh, by simply converting the uh, running frequency of the alternator to a voltage and putting that voltage into a comparator so they get under and over speed detection. The large white relays are the current relays, current transformers. Uh, each output of the three phases runs through those current transformers as a single turn and they produce a voltage which is equivalent to the output current in any one phase and the two blue items at the bottom are the actual output on and off contactors. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. Very complicated uh, way to control the generator. Uh, I think it would be much easier to do it mechanically and uh, it would be more reliable as well. So that's the inside of the hunting high volt 14 kilowatt three phase uh, generator. Runs at 1500 RPM and can be run in single phase 50 or 60 hertz frequency.